what would you say to the guy, the youth pastor, the lead pastor, or something like that? It's kind of like, man, maybe I should start doing more traveling. What if I just go into a travel ministry? What do you what do you say to, to them? Yeah, to the youth pastor or any kind of leader that's thinking, I want to do more traveling and I want to do more preaching. Um, I want to caution you. And uh, the reason why I want to caution you is, number one, you have to know that this is God doing this in your heart, that it's God doing this in your life. And if it's not, don't even think about it. The worst thing is doing something that God never wanted you to do or called you to do. And just because you see me make a post on my Instagram or a, a, a traveling pastor who pastors a church and travel and speaks, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Um, there's oftentimes lonely, uh, can be lonely on the road. Um, there's a whole bunch of challenges with it. And, um, the other thing I would say is before you ever took that step of faith, there needs to be fruit before you even consider the step of faith. Meaning, um, if you feel like this is what God's leading you to do, but yet you haven't had any fruit come from, um, someone asking you to come speak outside or any of those kinds of things, then I, I would caution you just to be. Uh, uh, a little slow with that, with that approach. Um, and so um, I, I would just say, um, um, bloom where you're planted, uh, grow where you're planted. If God wants you on the road and God wants you to travel, he will make you restless. He will make you uh, miserable to the point where you actually need or have to obey him. So I say, I'd like to say this is let God birth it let God lead you through it. Let other people confirm it in your life. Let other people speak to the fruit that they see and um, let God lead that process. Uh, the worst thing is feeling like you have to make everything go versus God's making it all go and you're just merely following him and doing what he's calling you to do. So that's what I would say to any pastor or leader that's thinking of making that leap of traveling and preaching.